when it all comes down to it, uh, where what happens with Romo for the next two weeks, and then once this whole season is over, do you think, based on the the tea leaves here uh, in Dallas? I mean, I, if you don't think Jerry is watching all this with a critical eye, then you you probably don't really know know Jerry. Um, they haven't thrown for over 200 yards in three straight weeks. The last two weeks, Dak has had the ball in his hands on third down 29 times. That means a situation where he's either dropped back to pass or kept the ball in his hands to run. They've converted two of those. Mm. One was a 14-yard scramble for his life against Minnesota on third and 13. The other was the pass to Dez at the end of the last game, which he then fumbled and the game ended. Uh, His QB rating on third down is like 19 in that span. Dez the last month is averaging four catches for 60 yards a game. Witten, the last month, four games, has 12 total catches for 95 yards. Elliott hasn't hit his league average, his, his, his season average in rushing yards per carry once in the last four or five games. Are you going to be able to run an offense through Cole Beasley in January against three straight stout defenses and win? <laughs> Great question. You know what I'm saying? They've attempted, Rich, the second fewest passes in the league that travel over 20 yards in the game. The in the air. The only team that to uh, accomplish less or even attempt less is Chip Kelly or Team Kelly over there with Gabbard slash Kaepernick. Wow. They see all this and they see we've paid Tony Romo one hundred and twenty seven million dollars in his career and eighteen million dollars this year. And he's fifteen and four in his last nineteen starts. And he's thirteen and three in his last sixteen with a one hundred and ten quarterback rating and forty touchdown passes. <laughs> I'm just saying <laughs> And they're playing Tampa, who Mike Smith has going so good. I think he may get a head coaching job again wow. with the job he's doing with that defense. And it's on prime time. And so you're okay, so you're, all right. So you're like, saying the about, world like winning the division, or is it about winning the the whole darn thing? So all ESPN wants for Christmas is a Monday Night Football with Tony Romo starting in a full blown conflagration going on in the Metroplex. Do you think that's possible? I think it's possible. I mean, wow. again, look if. That, plays like he did the first 10, 11 weeks, it's a moot point. But if you're now talking a, a, basically a quarter of the season where it's been kind of ho-hum, and ho-hum at best, and Elliott's coming up on he – will, he will top 300 carries this game, barring injury, and he will go over 300 and probably 25, 30, 40 touches for the year. Right, right now he's second only to David Johnson. He's got like 315 touches already. So if he gets his league average, now you're creeping up on 350 touches and you're over 300 carries, and they're stacking the box, and they're daring you to beat them with Cole Beasley time and time and time again to move the chains. And you've got your favorite son, $18 million to tell Dak you're still good and we're still good, and I'm behind you, and hold that clipboard and be a surrogate coach. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.